Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to your online English classes. As you people have seen in the last video, we people have started the new chapter, chapter three. It's a prose from your book Flamingo, titled as Deep Water, written by William Douglas. Actually, it is a you can say that a autobiography been written by him, in which. He had tried to share with us a very important fact of his life, one experience which was very grave, very serious, which has left a deep mark in his life. And in this, he spoke about that hidden fear that which a maximum of us face. Some of us realize it, some of us don't. But you know. To fear, fear is the actual problem. If you learn to overcome this fear, all the problems will come to an end. And in this, William Douglas he spoke, or you can say that he speaks about one such fear of his, and that is the aversion of water. Actually, as I have introduced this chapter in the beginning part, we people have come across. the reason for his aversion the reason is that when he was just 3 or 4 years old my dear students i'm recalling the video which i have already taken regarding this deep water in this when he was just 3 or 4 years old his father happens to take him to the california beach where the small child william douglas as a small child hung to his father's leg while the big waves of the what the sea was going on knocking down the people around one such big wave hits him also he was totally drowned in it he got frightened because for a few moments he could not breathe though he was hanging tight to his father his father was laughing because he knows the safety of his child but he was just 3 or 4 years old so obviously the fright has left a mark in his heart and he lived with it for some time till he turned 10 or 11 years old and when his mother kept on telling him about the condition about how the people drown in the sea and how swimming is very important etc etc he decided to go for swimming classes to the YMCA pool of Yakima because this pool was much more safer than the big sea and the river so he decided to learn swimming the shallow end was just 3 or 2 feet deep and the deeper end was about 9 feet deep he used to carry his water wings and go to the pool he never liked being naked friend of people because he was very skinny but then he was supposed to go in the pool and nobody goes wearing on a pant or a shirt or anything of that sort so he has to put on his trunks and go into the water and somehow he has to get over the aversion that he has developed within himself of water then he uh, slowly slowly started going to the pool in the beginning the whenever he used to go into the water in the pool that same fear used to strike back but somehow he tried to overcome it and this incident was a terrible one it so happened that one day he was sitting down by the side of the pool he reached earlier so he was waiting for others to come so that he can get into the pool he was frightened to go into the pool alone so he was feeling timid you know and he was sitting down at one edge of the pool waiting for others to come meanwhile one person came there an 18 year old boy who was having very good physique rippling you know muscles and he seems to be like a pro-sha kind you know the one who bullies a lot others and seeing william douglas sitting down by the edge of the pool all alone his naughty mind thought of something and he said to him he shouted actually and said to him hey how about being ducked into the pool and before 
William Douglas could reply anything, he carried him in his hand and threw him to the deeper end of the pool. You remember deeper end, nine feet. And our poor Mr. Douglas, he don't know how to swim. He was just a beginner. He was sitting down at the edge of the pool and when he started going down, he was in the same sitting position. He swallowed water and at once he started moving towards the bottom of the pool. But though he was frightened, but his mind was still working and he made a promise to himself, a plan he created. He thought that as soon as his feet will hit the bottom, he would make a big jump. And what will happen? With that big jump, he will come to the surface of the water, of the pool, and then he will lie flat on it. He will pedal his leg and he will reach to the edge of the pool. My dear students, this all seems very simple when we talk about it. But for it to actually happen in that way, it seems a little difficult. Now he started moving down. That nine feet seemed like 90 feet to him. Poor child, just 10 or 11 years old. Just imagine one who don't know how to swim. When he is drowned, he's going down in the water, with water being swallowed by him. Just imagine his condition. The boy, he felt like before he could touch the bottom, his lungs will burst. He's not able to breathe now. He don't know how to breathe inside the water. And then somehow when he felt the bottom under his feet, he collected all his strength and he made a big jump, which according to him seems to be the greatest one which he had ever done. And then he thought, he, he, he imagined that like a cork, you might have seen now, like how when you take the cork and you bring to the bottom of the um, bottom of a bucket filled with water and when you release it, it will jump up and it will uh, be floating on the surface of the water. Exactly that way he thought will happen with him. But when he opened his eyes, it was other way. He was going up very slowly, not like the speed of the cork. And when he opened his eyes, he could see only water around him. That yellowish type of color, no? that type of color he could see. Now the boy started getting frightened and as he was reaching up though slowly, he tried like how it is when we are about to fall, an instant response is there from our side. We try to hold something to uh, keep ourselves upright. Here also he did the same thing. When he was about to reach up, which according to him he was reaching up, he tried to grab something, to hold something and he started moving his hand in the water. But the poor child, he could get nothing in his hand except water. And he was not able to scream also for help because it looked like as if the, uh, the voice got stuck in his throat. Then his eyes and nose came out of water but mouth was still inside the Let's continue further. What happened with this child? I flailed at the surface of the water, swallowed and choked. I tried to bring my legs up, but they hung as dead weights, paralyzed and rigid. A great force was pulling me under. I screamed, but only the water heard me. I had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool. I stuck at the water as I went down, expending my strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force. I had lost all my breath. My lungs ached, my head throbbed, I was getting dizzy. But I remembered the strategy. I could spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cord to the surface. I would lie flat on the water strike out with my arms and thrash my legs, then I would get to the edge of the pool and be safe. I don't think more than this 11 year old child can think of who is a non-swimmer. When his eyes and nose came out but not his mouth, 
he was not on the surface of the water but he flailed means in a uh, you can say that in a vertical position he was inside the pool with his eyes and nose out of the water and the rest of the body inside the water and what he was doing you know he was swallowing the water he don't know how to inhale and exhale in the water like how the swimmers they do and because of that reason he swallowed water and he was feeling choked he tried his hanging legs to be brought up but it looked like as if though his legs were paralyzed hanging dead inside the water totally rigid not even moving he felt like as if though some force was pulling him down he was trying to come out but a force was bringing him down he screamed definitely he screamed but only one thing could hurt him, hear him you know what what a and then he started his journey back into the pool second time now don't get confused huh? first time when he was actually thrown into the water and when he was going down that was his first journey to the bottom of the pool now after that he made his first attempt to come out which failed and then he again started his journey back to the bottom of the pool now when he started going back to the pool now you see his reaction this is expected he stuck at the water means like he boxed boxing how we do we move our hands and we try to hit so that we can save ourselves he too was doing the same thing my dear students you may have gone through some nightmares you know nightmares you know uh, bad dreams that you get and sometimes uh, suddenly you get up from the dream you are sweating a lot or sometimes in your dream while you are watching it, you are seeing that dream in that itself the reaction can be seen in your responses can be seen in your body you are hitting the hand in the air trying to save yourself you are feeling choked many many kind of responses many kind of reactions are there right now his nightmare was this the water in which he was drowning back again he was going back down again for the second time and with all his strength he tried to try to box with the water and then he said that he started losing his breath so the reactions were his lungs ached and his head throbbed it was paining and he was feeling dizzy giddiness but how even in such circumstances also he remembered his strategy what was his strategy that as soon as he feet touch the bottom of the pool he will spring he will give his body a great push he will come up like a cork to the surface he would lie flat on the water he will strike with his arms you might have seen the swimmer striking the water with arms and thrashing his leg means his leg will be pedaled inside the water and easily he will reach to the edge of the pool this is what he thought but then really whether it happened like that that we have to see i went down down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through and then sheer stark terror seized me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it i was shrieking under water i was paralyzed under water stiff rigid with fear even the screams in my throat were frozen only my heart and the pounding in my head said that i was still alive and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had now this poor child during his second journey to the back of the bottom he went down and down endlessly it seemed like that the end was not end of the pool was not approaching and then he opened his eyes and he could see nothing but water the yellowish water through which no one can see and then he says that a dark terror a terrible terror a strong 
terror filled feeling seized him caught him and you know how he described this terror you see terror that knows no understanding means a terror who is having no emotional understanding for anyone terror that knows no control terror which nobody can control and then terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it yes the terror only who really undergoes that terror can understand the depth of that terror now that i am explaining the chapter to you you are listening to me you are watching this video can we in from our places understand the plight and the condition that terror that the child was facing who was drowning in the swimming pool no my dear students no way we all are sitting down safely at our places we cannot experience until and ex- unless we are in that place and then he says he shouted he shrieked in the water he felt paralyzed means his hands and legs were not moving stiff rigid out of fear and then he wanted to scream but the scream she seems to have frozen inside his throat only thing which told him that he's alive is his heart and the throbbing the pounding of his head yeah he is alive but in between all this feelings of terror he remember one thing one reasoning he remember what was that to jump as soon as the feet touches the bottom at last while he was going down he felt the tiles under his feet and his toes tried to reach for the tiles and then he jumped up means he gave his body a push with all the might all the strength that he possessed but the jump made no difference the water was still around me i looked for ropes ladders water wings nothing but water a mass of yellow water held me stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright my, my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened now he tried the second time to come up he made the jump with all his might but he felt that the jump made no difference my dear children he was a non swimmer and you know how it is acceleration the speed with which he has gone down and the speed with which he was coming up that will automatically decrease here also same thing happened he with the force he jumped but he could when he opened his eyes he could see only water everywhere he was looking out for some kind of a support like ladder or rope or water wing nothing only water a big mass of yellow water which has caught him terror caught him even more deeper like as if he got an electric shock he trembled with fright he shook with fright his arms could not move his legs could not move and obviously he called for his mother every one of us do and he also did that but nothing happened and then strangely there was light i was coming out of the awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too when i started down a third time i sucked for air and got water the yellowish light was going out and now while he was feeling all those terror suddenly he could see the light and he felt oh thank god i'm coming out of that awful yellow water at least his eyes were his nose also came out but you know then what happened he started moving back again he started his journey back to the bottom of the pool for the third time 
he opened his mouth to take in air but instead of air he got water and the yellowish light which he could see because his eyes and nose came out that also disappeared i would like to bring this video to an end over here and continue with the rest of the part in the next video i hope you people are watching the videos and getting yourself updated time to time regarding all the subjects after this lesson ends up i will discuss the questions in the last video of this lesson and i'll send the pdf of the extra questions of the lesson the last spring and this chapter together afterwards it will be uploaded Till then, take care.